Hello everybody, welcome back youtube.com slash geeklad for another Let's Install. Today, Steel Rising, native PS5 edition onto a PS5, obviously. We will kick that off and add it to the downloads, but why Steel Rising today? Because it is part of this month's PlayStation Plus monthly games. Uh, if you haven't already, you should definitely add the other two games uh, to your library. So long as you're a subscriber to the service, you'll be able to continue accessing them from your library. Uh, as I said today, Steel Rising, and if we back out here, I'll be able to pull up the uh, details here. And I can tell you, Steel Rising will cost you 26.509 gigabytes uh, to download. We'll go ahead and download that. Once the download's complete, we'll open the settings menu up, see what kind of uh, recommendations we'd make for changes. We'll also check out any accessibility options they've got, if that can help you, you know, if you suffer motion sickness or color blindness. Uh, or many other things. They're often covered these days in the menu. So we'll go hunting for those. Once that's done, we'll jump back to the PS5 dashboard. I'll get you the current uh, version number for Steel Rising and the full in-size size, as it will be larger than the 26.509 shown currently for the download. Uh, all that happens at the end of the video. But for now, let's check out some gameplay from Steel Rising. Okay, so it's a little Souls-like, little souls borny. I can't help but feel to compare it to uh, Pinocchio. What was that called? Lies of P. It's reminding me a little bit of Lies of P with a French Revolution undertone. Oh! Well, I guess we should apply another heal. Let's open the chest. Man, I need to change the push and hold of the triangle to a tap. Modules. Alright, we switched out our first module. Not entirely sure, but my health bar may have expanded. I suppose modules are the equivalence of rings from Soulspawn. Is that a fog door? The Swiss Guard killed by the automats that replaced them. Oh, someone's attacking. Go away, get off screen. Oh, push and hold to get off screen's a bit rich. And that return fire was effective. Oh! Really gotta watch his three prong attack. Oh, yep, that sucked. Just backing up to try and let the health regen. Oh, yep, that hurt. Oh, no stamina left, Troy. Oh. Oh, come on now. Oh. Oh, yep, I'm stuck against the geometry behind me. Oh, two for three for, and I'm down. Wow. Uh, enjoyable Soulsborne game. First impressions are good, but the install is complete. So let's get back there, shall we? 
installed, still rising right here, youtube.com slash geekaloud. I hope you enjoyed the look at gameplay. Let's boot it on up now and check out that settings menu and see what we should flick. Okay, here we are at the still rising main menu. Let's pop open the options and see what they've got for us. Uh, they have a button list here of attacks. Personally, I always prefer the, you know, controller displayed on screen with the callouts coming off it. I find it a far more easy way to digest the information, but the full list is there. Control options. We can change our sensitivity, invert the axis, and disable vibration if you need to, but I don't recommend changing them. Text language, English, subtitles. No, thank you. Don't ask me why I make them small when I've already disabled them. <laughs> Camera effects. Yes, I'll leave those on. Uh, if you're susceptible to motion sickness, you may want to turn off some camera effects. Tutorials enabled. I'll leave them. In-game UI. Full. Sure. Hat visibility. Shown. If we get an offensive hat later, maybe I will come in uh, and change those. We'll confirm the changes uh, to the games there. Check out audio. All at 100%. That's fine. Visual, what do we got? Uh, brightness now. I won't go through and set it up here. I'll leave it as defaults, but you should definitely take the time to set it up for yourself. You won't have these big lights in your eyes, uh, but you'll get a much better gaming experience by correctly setting your picture brightness. Uh, and then graphics mode, I would definitely recommend favoring the frame rate. We want a full 60 frames per second, uh, if possible, so we get all the cues. But I believe that is it. Uh, for the settings in Steel Rising. So let's bounce out now and pull up the particulars uh, and wrap up this video. I can tell you currently Steel Rising is version 1.006.000 and that is a full and complete install size of 26.55 gigabytes. Thank you very much for watching another Let's Install here on Geek Loud. Please check out the Gaming Enforcement Agency. That's our video games podcast here on the channel. What else could you do with it? Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it. Yeah. <laughs>